Hey guys, Tyler here, as opposed to all those other times. Welcome back to Shotgun King. I'm on rank eight. So there's another bishop that starts in white's arrangement of pieces. And as a reminder, this game is hard. It may not have looked like it on my first game back. I think I got really lucky because now I'm about to give you all the true Shotgun King experience. Win, lose, die, whatever happens, it's going up on the internet. It's gonna be a fun time. And it's gonna be an overall journey because I don't expect myself to continue this lucky streak of winning the first time. But I also wanna keep making videos of this game. So I'm gonna do what it takes to have a balanced setup. Anyway, I can't talk and play at the same time. You can see my play is already deteriorating. The more I think, the better I play, but the more I talk, the less I think. Either way, let's try to do something fun and exciting. I love the Bushido. I love the blade, and it gets me a free turn. And bishops can move and attack across any obstacles. I don't know if that counts pawns. They're floating! <laughs> God, floating bishops. Hey, let's see. I'm gonna try something. If I stand here, the bishop blinks. I mean, the knight blinks too, but the bishop also blinks. They can see me. I must eliminate the satanic floating bishops. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Wait, if I get a bishop soul, can I float? I must test this. So let's see. No, it doesn't look like I can, which is BS. I should be able to float. That would be so fun. Alas, the bishop still must go. And I can slash the knight and get an extra turn. It's beautiful. I'm in check. I hate it. I wish it didn't happen. Stand it. And push. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Ooh, I gotta be careful, careful. All right, no, this is fine. You get an extra turn. Now, this is only once per turn. What? Maybe that just was my turn? Yeah, that must have been. Either way, I think I only get the extra turn once. I will be using the blade a lot and hoping and praying that I get another blade card because I have never, ever had two blade cards in the same game before. I feel like it should have happened even... Oh. <laughs> There's the first time for everything, I guess. And this is good. Bishops can heal. That's a bad bishop card. That means they're just going to stay put and not move anywhere and a static bishop is a good bishop. Oh, I unlocked a new gun. See, first time it's ever happened because you need multiple blade cards in a run to unlock that gun. Well, <laughs> let's hope this goes well, huh? I should play this one extra smartly. Still, if I can get an enemy close to me, that is five blade damage. <laughs> it's so funny to me. I'll move here, try to pick one off. They do have plus one HP, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go right... Oh, the bishop will see me if I go there. I'll go here, encourage the bishop to... Grumble, grumble, grumble. I wanted it to come to me. Should stay on a dark square because the light squared bishop is moving. The rook is gonna put me in check. I'm just gonna let it happen. See what happens. I gotta figure out where I'm moving, but first figure out which knight to slash. I think I slash this knight and then move there. And then I'll have to... Oh, I can't slash the bishop because it's a coward! Slash this knight. Maybe kill the bishop? It never happens. I'm on a dark square. This is good. Kill it. Thank you. I can slash the rook and this bishop will put me in check. So now just stay on dark squares at all points in time and I'll be good. Just stay on dark squares. Are you coward? Now you move? I see how it is. Look at all these things I'm blading though. This is so worth it. I, I'm, I don't think I could win with only blade, but I kind of want to try. The issue with that is at some point I have to get close to the king. Yeah, in order to kill him, or in order to get my extra turn, I actually have to kill something. I might want my firepower back because of Bushido. Although playing an extra turn after a soul card move sounds like better synergy. I got some comments suggesting that I should use my soul cards more liberally, which is an interesting idea. Because how I've been playing them before is that I've been very deliberately saving them until I'm in danger. But maybe I should be more aggressive. I also get an extra turn. I want to try what I call a hit and run. As in, you hit, you hit, and you run. I think it's a good strat. At some point, I gotta start blasting. But I figure I should save it, the queen soul, just because of how versatile it is. Because there's so many checks I can get myself out of, thanks to that. And it just seems like it makes sense to save it for getting out of check. But I don't know. I mean, I could always switch it up. Anyways, though, I am always staying on dark squares. Or sorry, light squares because it's a dark squared bishop. Uh, maybe slice the pawns. Get an extra turn. Hit the king. I won't be able to kill it right away. I'll move over here. Here's how I'm going to do this, though. I'm still going to slash the pawn just in case something stupid happens. And mow the rest of them down. Beautiful. Nice shot. 
Incredible. Oh, oh, I can blade the king though at five HP. That's more than my attack power. I could get another blade. What can I do with six blade that I couldn't do with five? I mean, does it matter? The king also has two less HP. That's fine. Blade is perfect with this gun because I don't have much ammo. So I really want to use blade as much as I can help it. Stay on light squares. Yeah, always slash. You know, I'll take a shot into the crowd, see what happens. I'm gonna stay still, come to me. I like it that way. The bishop's probably not gonna move though. Maybe try to pick off a pawn here. Nope. Okay, hold on, slash before I run. I gotta be careful now. Here's my play, I get an extra turn. I hit and I run. I should just do that every time. It makes sense. Okay, I know this rook's gonna get close. I won't allow it. Perfect. <laughs> it's great. Pawns are gone. I have no worries now. Knight gonna come for me. He'll show up. Slash. 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 Beautiful. I could get more firepower, but then queens can't take damage. I don't like that. Let's instead add three ammo. You never know. It could help. But most importantly, the queens can still die. There are hardly any pawns. The bishops are on opposite colors. You hate to see it. But you'll love to see this. Can't quite hit and run the queen yet. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move here. Slash. It's once per turn, so I can't do the hit and run tactic yet. So I'll take out a pawn. Slash. I still can't hit and run. Does it even matter? Because I can still slash and run anyway. And maybe just kinda, <laughs> nice try, Rooks. You did your best. Yeah, come to me and die by the sword. Well, hot damn. I have one tenant and that is never pick court of the king. I cannot, under any circumstance, give white four pieces. So I'll take this no matter what it is. It has the same amount of bishops as the other card anyway. It's just, wow, I'm running out of pawns. <laughs> anyway, I'll just kind of take it slow now. Let's make sure I don't create any discovered checks. That would be embarrassing. No, discovered checks. I want the queen to come to me. Get your ass over here. No, you know what, fine. Hit and run. Right now though, if the bishop comes close, or just doesn't move. No, this is fine too. I can slash them both. It's a beautiful bishop massacre. I actually like my current position. I'm just gonna take a pot shot. Was hoping the rook would have came the other way. It's fine. I should be careful now. And I don't think there's a need to be careful anymore. It's right, I knock back the king occasionally. I swear, if I died to some sort of knockback BS, that would be sad. So far, so good. Oh, you can slow down the king and queen and decrease their HP. Scouting is pretty good, actually. Adding two pawns isn't a big deal. Plus one speed on pawns is five. There's barely any pawns. But the king being weak means if he has one fewer HP, I can one-shot him with my blade, which I don't know if I can decrease it further, but golly, I hope I can. I'm in... Check. Hit. Run. It's a simple two-step process. Anyone can do this at home. Just keep slashing stuff. Should be careful, but I can always get out of this with the queen. Because I was thinking, I slash the bishop, and then I run to a spot that he was attacking. Slash the bishop. Don't cause a discover check, you fool. This is good. I can shoot pawns. I can destroy pawns. Right, the king is slower. I don't know if I like the white king being slow. I guess it doesn't really bother me one way or another. Slash, slash, slash. It feels like a speed run now. I just gotta make sure I get to the right spot. Damn it, I didn't have anything hit him. It's like now I gotta kill the king with my bullets. Thankfully, that can be done. Ooh, non-king pieces can't come near my king. No, I want them to come near my king. So that black mist is pretty much the perfect card. I can handle the secret arrow. It's just two kings all at the slash. But I mean, here's the thing, right? Oh, I can see it already. Black mist is the closest thing this game has to an undo button. And I really like the idea of an undo button for this game because I make stupid mistakes quite a bit. This time, it's been going quite well. I somehow got supremely lucky recording again. You'll love to see it. I beg of you though, please don't count on it. <laughs> because I don't think I can get this lucky again. This is genuinely nuts. Okay, the queen won't check me. I don't think I killed the secret heir, did I? Do I care though? I should at least a little. Let's just kill all the children just in case. Oh yeah, I did miss him. Got any more skeletons in the closet, King? Any more of your kids have any secret air powers? Well, we'll just be extra sure. 
<laughs> oh, this is new. Bishop can't attack you at less than two range. Queen can't attack you at less than two range. I've never seen this before. Well, that's good. It'll force the bishop and the queen to come close. Sure, a king can't be killed if a knight is alive, but I haven't had that problem, really. But now I just gotta target the knights. All right, that one is still attacking me. It is known. And maybe kill up one. Fantastic. All right, they're both checking me. That's the only thing checking me, right? It is. I gotta take out the knight before I take out the king. It's important. Let me go here real quick. Take out a rook. I don't remember if I secret aired or not. Oh, you approach me, queen? No, I don't think so. I approach you. Ah, oh, damn it, knights are alive. That's just a mere hindrance is all. Okay, I definitely got the secret air. Now I can be sure. Yeah, okay, good. King's basically dead. Speed running it. I don't have much to say. I think it was just going well. Knight can only be hit when moving? That's annoying. I normally hate Witch's Curse because it nerfs me, but it doesn't nerf the blade, and that's all that matters. And I get three pentagrams. I get extra turn if I hit one. I get plus two firepower if I hit all of them. That seems great. I would advance, take extra turns. I saw the secret air. I know he's real. You can't hide forever. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, presbyopia is the complete opposite of what I thought it was. I confused the words less and more. It can attack me from far away, but it can't attack me up close, so this is therefore safe. Ah. I don't know if I'm under threat from this bishop, but it doesn't matter because I can approach him like this. Oh, that means I can blade more easily. Pure raw goodness. I have no range. I feel like I can only blade now. For the most part, I don't like this. I think that I need to start using souls a little bit more. Let me try queen soul to here, okay? I like slashing, double slashing, hanging the secret air. Now I can take a shot. So now I can knight soul to here safely, slash safely, and escape safely. And now I can rook soul to here, slash, and then take my real turn, I guess, without the third pentagram. Damn it, knights are alive. How about I take care of that? Take all my extra turns. All the extra turns and plus two firepower. Love it. I probably shouldn't have wasted that. Oh, they refreshed the pentagrams. Interesting. So I could keep stacking the firepower. Well, let's we'll see how this does against the boss. Okay, queen's coming up. If I go here, queen goes here. That's not what I was hoping. This is fine though. I can walk here safely. Slash the queen. And I can go here. This is safe. I get a knight kill. This is great. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome fight right now. Yes, we were having one. I could farm some <laughs> damage against the king. It'd actually be cool if I could one-shot the king. But first, I gotta get rid of some more pentagrams. Oh, I see you, secret air. I should be kind of careful, actually. I don't like that the rook's clamped in out on my position. Yeah, this is fine. I get an extra turn now. I think I'm gonna hold on to my queen soul, actually. This isn't as easy as I would like it to be. The damn air is alive. Now he's not. I don't know why I didn't go here. Still got 17 HP. I need the king to come to me to, yeah, get away from that. So what gives? Step away from the pentagram, sir. I could lose right now. Extra turn. I don't want to be here because I could instant lose. Uh, technically no. Here's what's up. If I go here, I can queen soul away no matter what he does. So I can do that right now. Get to the pentagram. The king slows down because he's old. And I get my extra turn and extra power. And another extra turn. I don't think I can build up that much though, but this is perfect. No, he didn't approach me. No, that was the perfect time for him to approach me. Come on, approach me, you piece of shit. Come up, I'm waiting for you. You coward. Approach me, approach me so you can meet my blade. <laughs> yes, taste the blade. Well, that was absurdly lucky. I can't wait for rank nine. <laughs> hey, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Will I get as lucky or will I finally get what's coming to me? Who knows? See you then.